Hi guys, this is Puppy UK for Eve Co Pilots doing a long awaited and heavily requested video for the overview. So, as you can see, this is my main account, there's Puppy, and his overview settings are slim to none. This is almost the same as you'll see it when you start the game. There'll be a few little changes but for the most part it's about as useful as the overview is when you first get it. So the first thing we're going to do is run over what all the different overview settings are and what they do. And the second thing we're going to do is go through uh, the overview tabs or some of them that I use during my empire -y stuff. Okay, so this little button here is the key to the magic. You give that little set of lines a click and you go open overview settings. Uh, don't worry about all this yet. I've been I re-recorded this because I got interrupted. So this is the first page you'll see. Filters, types. Okay, so types. Everything in here basically covers everything that you will ever see on your overview. Okay, so if I select all, bang, everything in this system that can possibly show up on my overview at the moment is, is all on there. Okay, all the moons, the planets, the stars, the gates, the everything. It's all on there. Okay? If I select nothing, then I get exactly that. I get left with nothing. So I'm just quickly gonna put that back to there. Okay. So each area, I mean they're broken down pretty well. Um, you know, station, simple enough, ships, simple enough. Um, drones, simple enough. Some of them are a little bit more, you know, asteroids, again, different types of asteroids that are there. Um, some of them are a little bit more confusing, but we'll go into them a little bit more detail in a bit. What you need to take away from this is that these are the different things that you can see on your overview, okay? And you can then select and deselect what you do and don't want to see. <clears throat> the next set is the state, and this specifically retains to ships. So, for example, I can select ships and you can see these are all the different types of ships that are in the game so maybe I would just, you know, at the moment I'll see any ship in the game if it appears on my overview. States determine or more like restrict the ships that will be shown on your screen. So at the moment I've got everything checked so I will see any ship from any pilot that appears on the overview with me. Now if I uncheck pilot is in my corporation or alliance, I will see any ship from the types that comes up on my overview unless, from any of these, unless they're in my alliance because I've said that I don't want to see those ships. Or maybe I don't want to see ships in my militia or my entire alliance. Sorry, that's a war, isn't it? He, why I wouldn't want to see ships at war is beyond me, but anyway. Again, if you want to, if you, you know, for example, if you're doing you know, logistics repair work, you don't want to see war targets because you don't want to repair war targets, right? So. This denotes what players you see, and they will only show up if they meet both the criteria of the state and the types. So it needs to be the ship needs to be of a type you want to see, and the state needs to be the, is, is the type of player you want to see. Okay, again, we'll go back and go through this and set it all up later. So appearances tab. This basically shows how you see people and the order that you see them in. Okay, so you've got three different types. Um, this here, this is this is the apply to ships and drones only. If you uncheck that, um, it applies to I think cans and bits and bobs stations and pods and I think bits and bobs like that. I'm not really sure. I just I only ever apply it to ships. I'll turn it off for now and see what happens. New small color tags basically changes the size that the tag shows up. You'll either get it as a little square in the bottom corner or the whole or, or a bigger square basically. I use the small ones, it just looks neater, takes up less sort of fill on the screen. So three different tabs, colour tags, backgrounds and e war. Okay? All the e war on just just all the time. If someone's doing something to me, I, I pretty much just want to see it. It doesn't matter what they're doing. I just want to see if someone's doing e war. Um, the background <coughs> is basically as you see as I'm moving over this stuff it's starting to light up and that's basically me that's the background there so that goes white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black. 
that's your background there. The color tags are these. Okay, these show up both on the overview and in your local list and stuff. So, for example, um, the other thing you can do is right click. So I've got a court member here. So if I look at a uh, pilot is in my corporation, if I right click it, I can change the color. Okay, so I want my corporation members to be blue. And suddenly see that changes to blue there? Or I want it to be turquoise. There you go, now it's turquoise. And you can so you can just I'll put that back to the color it was. There you go. So you can change the colors you want. So for example, you see here I've got my fleet showing up as black, not purple. Um, which is something I've, I've done, I think it looks nicer. Um, you can also turn the blinking on and off. So combat wombat here, my blue, I can right click him and toggle blink and he'll start blinking away. Right? The only thing I really use that for is for war targets. Uh, basically people that I can shoot I want flashing. But I don't do it on these icons. These icons just always stay constant. I do the flashing stuff on the background. So you can see my wars and my alliance guys, they're both flashy red. Um, also Pilot is an outlaw, right? That's um, again someone that you can shoot, right? So I want I'll now put a background on for an outlaw, and I will set that to blink. Okay, so outlaws, war targets. Now the problem with that then comes that you now can't tell the difference between the outlaw or the war target through the background. You can only see the difference because an outlaw will have a skull and then a war member will have a cross. Now during a fleet fight that's not really ideal. So I have a background as red. So basically the rule that I now have is that um, anyone that I can shoot will have a red background and war targets will have flashy backgrounds. Okay, So now I can tell the difference. But the key is you know, these are the tags and the colors of them. Background color and blinky blinky and the e-war stuff okay, will show up separately. After that, columns. Now, most of these you won't want on your overview. Okay, basically, what you need to ask yourself is, what do I need to know during like a, a, a fight, during a during combat? Okay, so I want their icon on. That's good. A lot of people have tags on um, for, which is basically. Like a little, like squad commanders can assign tags to people. So it's a good idea to just note that that's there because some squads use it. We don't, so I have it turned off. But some squads do do that. So if they ask you to start attacking tags, that's how you do it. Um, I don't need to know their corporation or alliance because I can just right click on someone and show info. And there it shows me their corp and their alliance. So I, I don't need to know at a critical time who the guy is. I just need to know if I can or can't shoot him. So I don't have that on my overview. <clears throat> Distance, very important. Is he in range of my guns? Is he out of them? Am I at perfect range? His name, also quite a useful one. And the type, which will also show up for ship. So it will show up whether it's a, an interceptor. It will show up the type of ship and the ship's name. And you can therefore tell what you're shooting at. I don't need to know again their corporation, their faction and militia is the same same deal as the corporate alliance. The size of the ship, after a while, after you've been playing the game for a while, you just learn that this ship's that size, this ship's that size. So velocity, I do want to know that. I need to know how fast my target's moving. Is he moving quicker than me? Can I catch him? Um, is he moving around me so quickly that I can't, you know, that I won't be able to shoot him, do I not even bother trying? Um, Transversal velocity um, comes into the finer bits and bobs of PvP. It's basically the speed that he is um, crossing you at, which then ties into whether or not your tracking is good enough. So for now, don't worry about these. Just take a note that they're there. So that's the different options, and these are... You can also change the priority, so maybe I want the distance before the icon, for example, for whatever reason. So you can set it up the way you want it, but this is how I have my um, overview set up, okay? So it's showing their little icon, the distance they are from me, the name, the type of ship it is, and the speed that it's doing, okay? That's everything, and that's the same for all 
my overview settings. Everything has those on. Sometimes I turn on transversal velocity, and I normally keep it on, but I keep it off the screen, right? So if I need to, I can just pop out, and there's my transversal velocity, right? So what I actually have my overview as is that. So if I ever need to, in a hurry, go, oh crap, what's, you know, how, what's the transversal velocity? I can just pop that out and look. But I keep it pretty much like that. So ships, um, this is basically the identifiers that you see from a target, okay, so how you see their names displayed. Um, so I don't need to see the corporation's ticker is in my alliance, I know he's part of my alliance, that's fine. Um, I also don't need to know a ship's name because it doesn't matter in PvP. The corp and the alliance tickers, that can be quite useful. Um, just to have a look on the fly, just as you've got someone clicked to see what corp and alliance they're in. And also the type of ship can be very useful as well. You can turn them on and off, it's up to you. If, if you're not doing like the war stuff, this maybe becomes not so useful for you. But um, yeah, generally I think that's how it comes, and I, I pretty much leave it like that. Miscellaneous is basically just that, it's move entries. So if I've got three fleet members on, It'll organize how I've told it to organize, okay? So I'll organize my stuff always by distance, okay? Closest to the top. So if I've got three pilots that are, you know, 70 kilom you know, 70,000 kilometers away, not that they'd show up, but if they did, I can then say, if they broadcast for something, i.e. they say, I need you to align here, or I need armor, I need repairs, then they will then go to the top of the list. So it makes it easier to click on, which can be useful again it's more of the logistics role stuff that that comes into so keep that on um, if you want it, if you're doing any of the logistics stuff otherwise you can turn it off and I toggle that on and off quite a lot and the last bit is the overview tabs now this is basically um, the name see this here is one tab okay and you can have five so if I name these one two three four five and apply it you see now I have these five tabs right so, you, and, and they can all contain a completely individual set of filters, okay? So, the first question I ask myself is, what do I, what do I need different overview settings for, okay? So, for example, just to give you guys a, a I want to I cover a lot of things, but um, I, I don't want to go into sort of too much detail doing the same different stuff. So. The first one is maybe going to be travel. Okay, I just want a tab so that when I'm traveling around, I can use that just to see the uh, the gates that I'm on. The second one I'm going to want is PVP. Okay, so just generally for when I'm PVPing around, um, I may want a fleet tab so I can just see my fleet members that are on the grid. Um, again, that comes into my logistics stuff. When you're, when you're doing the repairing side of things. Um, the other two that I'll do will be missions and mining. Okay, so they're the different tabs that, you, you know, that we're gonna set up today. So when I apply that now, you see I have these different tabs for different things that I'm doing. Okay, so I'm traveling around, I wanna see that. If I'm doing PVP, I wanna see something different. I want to see something else for my fleet, something else for my missions, and something else for my mining. Okay, so I'm actually just going to change fleet to there and PvP to there because that's how I have it before. Okay. Now this second option, the show bracket stuff. Um, the brackets are these. Okay, that's what. So you can turn. Basically, you only turn the brackets off if there's like big fights going on. You turn the brackets off to save your frame rate. Um, you don't need to worry about that for now, and by the time you do, you'll, you'll know what that's about. So for now, just leave them all on. And what we're gonna do is, first of all, we're going to build a template overview tab. So we're going to the filters, and we'll just apply that change there. Go into the filters and types, and we're gonna turn everything off. So I don't want to see anything. Okay. <clears throat> go to the states <clears throat> and we're going to uncheck everything. So it's just completely nothing in view, no types of players at all. Okay. Let's 
just taking a little. Do, 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 do. Can you shift? I know there was a. No, you can't. You gotta click them one at a time. Well done, CCP. Go ahead and fix that for me. So, the question I'm asking myself now is what do I want to see all the time, no matter what? Okay? So, that's gonna be very few things. Um, asteroids? No, I'm not always going to want to see asteroids. Celestials. Now, here, there are some things that I do always want to see. Okay, I always want to see beacons. Now, that comes in, basically, for later on in the game, when you're in low sec or null sec. Sinosaur fields are beacons. So no matter what happens, I always want to see them. Um, if you don't get involved if, if you're not really involved in the in the null sick or the low sick stuff you're never going to see the beacons really anyway you can see these are empire beacons these are npc beacons um, that show up but so maybe i don't always want to see them as a new player but for me i would keep that on so we'll leave that off for now um we're going through do i always want to see moons and planets no do i want to see sentry guns no stargates well, I want to see them when I'm traveling, but do I want to see them when I'm looking at PvP? Probably not. Rex, no. Okay, so... Bombs. Yes, I always want to see bombs. No matter what's happening, if a bomb is thrown at me of any description, I always want to see it. I want to be able to see that it's coming. I'm always going to have bombs on. Um, deployable objects. Mobile wall disruption. Now, again, these are only used in NullSec, but no matter what I'm doing, Am I going to want them on? Probably not. And again, that's specific to the PvP stuff. Um, if I'm looking at my friendly fleet, I don't care if they're there. Drones, certainly not. Entities. Now, there's a lot of entities, <laughs> as you can see. These are all the different types of missions, sentry guns. Um, nope, there's nothing in there that I want to see all the time. That's, that's all going to be situational. NPCs, definitely not. PI stuff, no ships. Well, in if I'm doing my travelling, I don't want ships making it hard for me to click my um, overviews. So I don't want to see that. Um, TCUs again, no. Stations, no. Structures. Now, I think on here, I probably always want to see control towers. Um, even if I'm traveling and I'm traveling past the control tower, if I'm doing PvP or a fleet, I'm always there's never I, there's never going to be a situation where I don't want to see a control tower if it's on the grid because a lot of times you'll be again this is later on in the game and stuff, <coughs> but I, I, any situation I'm in, there's only ever going to be one control tower, um, and yes I do want to see it either to go closer to it to orbit it to whatever I want to do, I, I always want to be able to click that if I need to, so I'm going to keep that on as well. But in short, the only thing that you're really always wanting to see is, is, is the bombs. So no matter what I'm doing, if a bomb gets thrown at me, I want to see it. And also, no matter what I'm doing, if a beacon gets thrown at me, I'm, I'm actually going to want to see that. So even if I'm travelling along and a sino goes live, I'm going to always want to know that that's there, even though it'll add these to everything that I'm doing. So, next up is states. Well, Am I always going to want to see everything? No, I'm certainly not. Um, and there isn't actually anything that I'm going to want to see all the time. So we'll leave all them blank. And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to save this selection type as template. Okay, so that's just my default template that I'm going to go back to to start my new build for each one of these options. So the first tab we have open is travel. Okay. So I'm going to go into the filters, deselect everything, uh, and I'm going to load template. Okay, right click, uh, left click even, load template. Now from here, so I'm traveling along. Okay, I've, I've got my beacons that I want to see. What else do I want to see? Well, I definitely need to see stargates. Okay, because I'm going to be traveling to them. So under celestials you'll find stargates, right? And that's all I need. So there's only one gate in this system. Okay, and that's in fact I think travel is gonna be the one no again, I need to see the Sinosaurus. So there's my that, that's it basically. All I want to see is the stargates that I'm traveling to. It just makes it very easy for me to travel. Now I'm also 
going to want to see stations maybe the distance the idea of a travel is just that it's easy to click if you're going through a system with a lot of pilots all the pilots are jumping up and down the overview and sometimes you can't click the gate that you want to click but stations are always going to be um, stationary so they're never going to start jumping up and down and making it hard for you to click something so I'm going to keep the stations on for my travel tab as well um, I don't have any ships selected under my travel so the states don't actually matter at all so we can leave them appearance again doesn't matter so we'll just leave everything as it is because we don't have any ships so we're never going to see these tags starting to show up columns aren't going to change, ships, nothing else is going to change so now this is basically everything that I want for my travel tab okay really simple once I've got that I'm going to I'm going to save that so right left click save selection type as I'm going to save it as travel okay. now under my overview tabs you can see I now have the overview profile of travel so I'm going to select that and just for namesake I'm just going to change one to general so Here's my travel tab, and when I go across, see it's now different. Okay, so I've set my travel window up for when I'm traveling around. So the next thing is my fleet. Again, I open my overview settings, filters. <clears throat> I click onto my um, button again, and I load template. Now, this is my fleet. Okay, so we're talking about ships. So now I'm going to turn everything off. Sorry, that was actually wrong. I'll load the template again. I don't want to turn everything off because I've got the stuff selected that I want to see all the time. So I'm going to right click on ships. I'm going to select all. Which now means any ship I will see. So I don't care what my fleet members are flying. I just need to know if they're in a ship. So I've got all the ships selected. And then under states, I just need to see if they are basically this is going to be it, it's called fleet I, I guess it's probably better named as friendly okay so I want to see anyone that's friendly to, to my to myself that's probably a better way to put it rather than having one for the fleet and one for your alliance and stuff um, so who's friendly to me agents they're not friendly security status below zero now this is where it gets a little tricky regarding the states because I don't it will, if the pilot doesn't match one of these criteria it won't show them okay so one of my friendly pilots could have security status below zero but one of my friendly pilots will never have bad standings one of my pilots could have a bounty yes he could have excellent or good standings one of my friends won't have neutral standings because if they're neutral they're obviously not a friend and they also won't have no standings because it means I don't know them. Friends won't have terrible standings. My friends could well be an outlaw. They might well commit some sort of criminal act. They'll never be at war with me. They won't be at war with my militia. They could be in my alliance. They could be in my court. They could be in my fleet. They could be part of my militia. And then we've got wreck information. So that's how you go through and decide these settings. Okay? Could the pilot that I want to see have a bounty yes could the pilot that I want to see have bad standings now no okay so basically any pilot could have a bounty and any pilot could become an outlaw whether you want to see them if they're an outlaw or not is a different matter so again you have gotta go through and ask yourself could the pilot I want to see meet this criteria for each one and if not you turn it off so now that's all I need okay the that's now done all my for my friendlies will only ever meet these criteria okay so once and I've also got all my my friendly pilots are always going to be flying a ship or a capsule so that's me done that's all I want to see so again click save it as and I'll save it as friendly okay back to the overview tab and it's already saved as my friendly okay <clears throat> next up is PvP so again click PvP tab I'll load template and right so PvP what am I going to want to see when I'm PvP well again I just really want to see ships that's, that's all I really want to see now I may also want to see 
Stargate, potentially. Um, just in case I want to warp out during PvP, saves me having to click that travel, but that's what we've got the travel icon there for. So, personally, I'm used to going, I need to move somewhere, click the travel tab, and I'm moving. So I can walk to a station or the gate, it's, it's up to you. Um, so I keep them off, but you can, again, once you know you I'm teaching you how to set these up the way you want them okay so you can change these by all means to suit whatever you you want so for PvP I only need to see ships so I'm going to select all the ships now under the state again so could someone that I need to shoot be an interactable agent no okay. so could he have security settings yes anyone could could he have bad standings definitely could he have a bounty on him Yes. Could he have excellent? Now, I, I wouldn't shoot someone if they have excellent standings with me, or good standings with me. I might shoot someone if they're neutral. I might shoot someone if they have no standings, or terrible. I might shoot them if they're an outlaw, or if they're at war. I won't shoot them if they're in my alliance. I won't shoot them if they're in my corporation or my fleet. Probably not in my militia, and I don't need the wrecks. Okay, so again, that's it. That's done. Now, that's everything I need, right? So anyone that I'll shoot meets those criteria. It's only going to be ships, which we've already selected. And that's it. So again, I save that as PvP. Little bit. So I've got perfectionist R's. Again, now that's there. Okay, now, <clears throat> for example, there may be a situation where, for example, you're at a war. Okay, so you, you just want to see your war targets, right? So the way that we do things in our alliance is that anyone that goes to war with us gets set immediately to terrible standings, okay? So I'm going to make another overview tab here based off of this. And what I'm going to remove is this neutral and no standings, okay? So now I'm not going to see pilots that I don't know. I'm not going to see pilots with bad standing. All I am going to see is pilots that have terrible standings and they're at war with me. Okay? So we're not neutral pilots. So basically these are people that I can shoot at any time. Okay? So we always set them. Excuse me. Someone's trying to call me. We always set these. Uh, anyone we go to war with immediately gets terrible standings. So anyone I'm at war with will always have terrible standings. They, they may have a security status below zero. They may be an outlaw. They <clears throat> will be at war with our corp, and they might be at war with our militia as well. But they won't be neutral, and they won't have no standings because we set them to terrible. I'm then going to save that as a war tab. Okay. So what I can do, if I need to is I can then right click and load PvP or while I'm on the tab I can then just click and load PvP right so you see how it changes so there's PvP and there's war so you see this little difference here so it's still using I'm only ever going to be shooting pretty much anyone in general or I'm going to be specifically shooting war targets if you want to you can add a second tab um, but you can also add these different lists and my list ends up down here somewhere for different stuff um, but that's just a little thing to note is that just because you have it labeled PvP you can also just change it on the fly if you go to war for example as soon as I see a war deck declared on my alliance I go PvP click war okay and that's it if I then go into low sec or I can in theory shoot anyone I want I then change it back to PvP okay so next up is missions. So what do I want to see when I'm doing missions? Well, it depends if um, where, where you're doing missions at. So again, we're just going to load up our template file. So this is stuff that we always want to see. And then, right, so NPCs. Do I want to see pirate NPCs? Well, yes, maybe. Do I want to see Concord? No, I can never shoot them. Do I want to see Customs? No, I can never shoot them. Do I want to see Faction Navy NPCs? Yes, they're special rats. Do I want to see Mission NPCs? Yes, I'm doing missions. Do I want to see Police? No, because I can't shoot them, right? Then we also need to go under... 
entities. Now it's actually easier to select all here and then deselect the ones you don't want to see because there's more that you want to see. So for missions, I don't need to see a billboard or a capture point, uh, control bunker, maybe convoy, no, convoy drone, no. Dead space, yep. Destructible agents in space, maybe, I don't even know what that is. Um, destructible sentry gun, not part of a mission, not part of a mission. Collidable ships, yep, structures, yep, LC, oh, I don't even know what that is to be honest with you. And here we go, missions for Amar, missions for Kaldari, missions for Concord, mission containers, mission, this is all the mission stuff here, okay, for the different types of missions, who they're with. Now, do I want to see pirate drones? Yes. Protective sentry guns? Not really. Rogue drones? Yes. Sentry guns? No, they're not part of missions. Spawn containers? Tutorial and redundancy. So what I'm left with now is everything that I'm going to need to shoot in a mission. Right, that's all the actual mission items. Now, on top of that, do I want to see um, ships while I'm missioning? Okay, well, if I'm in a fleet, of friendlies, I probably don't need to see them, right? So I can turn, leave the ships turned off. But if I'm at war, it's going to be very important that I see a ship. Okay, so what we will now do is say that if I'm just doing a general mission, I don't need to see my fleet members. I just need to see the enemies that I need to kill. So in that case, we're now done here. Okay, the other thing you need to add is. A, is it a warp gate. I'm wondering whether that's the same. That I believe that's what an acceleration gate is called. Um, but a lot of missions have acceleration gates that you go in and out of. So you want to make sure you can see them when you're in the mission and the next one you're going to go to. You also want to see cargo containers um, because sometimes a cargo container will drop at the end of a mission, um, and, and then you'll need to go and pick that up. Okay, so that's pretty much, I think, everything that I need to see when I'm doing a mission. And again, keep in mind, you can always refine these. If you forget something and you, you go, oh, I can't see it on my overview, you just add it in and resave it. So for now, yeah, that's pretty much what I want to see on a mission if I'm in sort of high sex safe space. So I'm going to save that as mission. So, okay, now, I need a second tab if you're, some people will do missions at war. It's just the way people do it. So what you can then do is add ships. So for example, you may also want to do a mission where you can see your fleet members, for example. So again, the same way that you did the friendlies, if you wanted to, you could add ships. You could then adjust the states to the way you like it. And you could save that as a different type of mission. So for example, if um, you, you wanted to see war targets as well, you could select all the ships select all the criteria that your war targets would meet and then you will also see war targets if they come into your mission if they come into your mission you're probably already dead and you shouldn't really do that anyway but anyway so last one mining again load up a template pop and spin my ship pointlessly turn my afterburner on go faster so mining what do you want to see well asteroid belts pretty much and I just want to see all the ore that I can mine. There you go. Um, do you want to see ships? Well, not really, because I'm either going to be concentrating on my mining, or I'm going to be concentrating on like the thing, on the uh, you know the ships that I'm looking at or the friendlies. For example, again, if you're mining in low sec, it's very important if you see a ship. So, but again, also, why not have the ships on your overview? Okay, because it's not as if you're doing anything particularly stressful where you're mining, you've got lots of time. So I like to see if a uh, ship appears. So I'll select all the different ship types. And again, I'll ask myself, what ships do I want to see on my mining tab if I'm mining? Well, I pretty much want to see everything. Um, if someone comes into a belt when I'm mining, you know, I, I especially want to see them if they're hostile. But why wouldn't I want to see them if something else is going on? It's not as if I need to click asteroids at you know, very specific times like you do in PvP. So I want to see anything that comes onto the grid while I'm mining away. Um, 
could be someone trying to flip my can or it could be a war target or maybe a friendly fleet members come in so I can join up with him and yeah so there you go now that is simple as that all I need to see when I'm mining is ore and I may also add stations okay just because you know you mine to a station and back again and for another reason to see ships for example is if you're mining with a fleet and you've got an orc or something like that so got the state set got the type set and I'm just gonna save that as mining okay done so I look at my overview tab they're all labeled they're all right I've got my additional ones for my war target if I need to change that and I'm pretty much good to go with the different overview settings okay they're all gonna look rather similar um, ooh, interesting friendly has custom okay so here's a mistake that's made right on my friendly tab for some reason I have custom offices selected okay so I'm gonna look here and find where these custom offices are because that shouldn't be showing up sovereignty structures shouldn't be selected either interesting it's very custom office see there's all this stuff going on here Okay, so my template for friendlies seems to have a lot of stuff that I don't want, so maybe I made a mistake there. So what I'm going to just do is load up my friendly template. Template, friend, oh, load up my friendly overview, there we go. And just under, I know these are right because I went through them. I'm just going to go to types, I'm going to turn everything off. I'm just going to turn ships on. There you go. Okay, so my friendly list, and then just again resave it. So there's me making a correction to a, a previously incorrect, and it asked me to overwrite it. Yes, that's fine. So PvP again. Ah, that's interesting. So I also need to turn on again the stuff that I want to see, which is basically just beacons and bombs. Right, so I'll fix that now. So as you can see, if you do make a mistake, if you see something you don't like, then you can just go ahead and just change it and then resave it. Uh, right, so say now that you're, if, if you, the other way you can add things is if you're on this and you go, oh, I wish I had that planet, you can just right click it and you can add planet to overview. And you can right click and you can remove planets from overviews. And then obviously if you so if you do see something that you wish was on your overview while you were doing that, you can just right click and add it. So for now I'll just go back to friendly. Bob. And yes, yeah, so if you do want to just add or remove things, for example, if you get to a mission and you can't see an NPC or you can't see the acceleration gate or something like that, you can just right click on it and add it and then save it off again. <coughs> so that's everything that I want to see and when I want to see it sorted. The only thing we've got to sort out now is how I want to see it. Okay. So basically what you can do here is some pilots will meet lots of these criteria. Okay. So you could have a pilot that has neutral standings with you. He could also be in your militia and be an outlaw and be in my alliance and my corporation and my fleet. Okay, so you can hit multiple things. So you need to organize these in the order. So basically you've got to ask yourself, what's the most important thing for me to see? Well, for the color tags, it's most important that I see if someone's at war with me. Okay, so that goes at the top. Then I want to see after that if a pilot's in my fleet. So that's the second most important. Um, and then the corporation, the alliance will come after that because there it's more important to see if someone's part of your corp or your alliance than it is to see their standings. Okay, so here we have excellent standings, good standings. Now, after this, okay, is a pilot an outlaw? Well, if a pilot's an outlaw, then I can kill him. Okay, so that's quite important to see. But I don't want to kill a player if he's got good standings, if he's in an alliance, a corporation, or a fleet. So these are more important than me knowing whether a pilot's an outlaw. Because if they're part of my fleet, well done smokers, you'll all pick up on that again. Um, one of my most commented things on my videos is, oh, you lit a cigarette, I really need a smoke. So 
So there's another one for you, and I'll enjoy that. So, yeah, it's more important for me to see if someone's good, if someone's friendly to me, basically, or if they're in my fleet, or if they're at war with me, than it is to see if they're an outlaw. Now, I'd rather see if someone's an outlaw than if they're in my militia. I'd r and again, it's just that priority list, okay? So if pilot has a bounty on him, I don't care about that at all. I will never care if a pilot has a bounty on him because, or if I do, it's going to be very important because it doesn't change anything. It just gives me a reward if I happen to pod him. I also don't care if he's got security status below zero because if his security status is low enough for me to shoot him, he'll be an outlaw. So I turn that off as well. Um, and again, I would rather see if a pilot, I'd rather see that a pilot has terrible standings then and again that is also I'd rather see if a pilot has bad standings with me than if he's in my militia even if he's in my militia I still might not like him so that's more important than seeing if he's in my militia okay and neutral and no standings is also um, that's probably the least important thing if they're nothing else then you might as well just let me know that okay um, right so that's my overview settings set up. So as you can see these apply to all of my tabs. Okay, I'm changing through the tabs and they remain the same. This is like configured for all your overviews. Now the background. Now basically this is very similar to um, the, the color tags. It works the same way but you can use this to your advantage. Okay, so sometimes you might want to see more than one piece of information about a target. Okay, so for example, a neutral, um, you could have a neutral outlaw. Okay, you could have a, a, a friendly outlaw or an unfriendly outlaw. Okay, so there may be, what you can do here is you can show something different in the background. You can change the priorities for the background compared to the priorities of the color tags. Now, to start with, it's a good idea. I just use the backgrounds basically for people that I can kill. Okay, that's all I use it for. Otherwise, it, it's not that important. So I look at the tags at, in good time. So all I use my backgrounds for is whether the pilot's at war with me or whether he's an outlaw, because I can shoot all three of those. Everything else doesn't have a background because it doesn't need it. So I then use the blinking, right click, toggle blink, to tell the difference between an outlaw that I can kill and a war target that I can kill in case a couple of outlaws and some war targets appear on my overview at the same time I can now tell the difference between them whilst keeping them all highlighted so again this comes back to the mining right so I now have this tab for my mining and I'm mining away quite happily and a war target walks in suddenly I've got a big red flashy background on my overview and it's going to alert me to the fact that he's there. Or even for an outlaw, if I'm mining in low seg space, I want to see if you know anyone appears. But more importantly, if it's an outlaw, it means he's shooting people already, so I want to see that. And again, E-War, I just always want to see E-War. If anyone's doing any sort of E-War to me, I just always want to see. So that's pretty much what an overview settings are, how they're configured, and how to how to set them up so if you have any questions throw them in the comments and I'll do my best to reply I know it's a lot of information and it's a bloody long video so when you're done make sure you got everything saved and there you go there's your nicely set up overview and you can now set them up so for example I don't actually do any mining so I never have that I'll have a war one up instead I don't really do any missions so I'll have a zero zero one that instead. And again, you can set the tabs up wherever you want, you can put all the different settings in you want, and you can go ahead and configure your own overview. And a lot of times as well, if you do this and you want to help someone else out, you can export these settings. Send them to someone and they can import them, but you can look into that yourself. So, my throat is now hurting, I need to be back at work in not long, so I'll get a few hours sleep and I'm off to work, so I'll call it a day. Thank you very much as always, and I'll speak to you soon.